Hey guys, my name is Steady Egg and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where you're now witnessing one of the many oil tankers that now sail across the Gulf of Mexico in our brand new kind of, I wouldn't call it an oil run, it's, it's a fuel run. They collect the crude oil, gets produced into normal oil and now we're refining it into fuel which we're delivering a lot of this to the Caribbean islands which is starting to really grow. Uh, those cities over there but guys we are back today we are back and we've got many many exciting things currently planned right now so while this does what it needs to do let's put it back into play mode for a moment uh, we kind of extended all the way down into uh, San Antonio Austin right now now although we don't have any trains coming in here I had to set this train line up just so I could figure out where the rest of my runs are pretty much gonna go and we're only really one connection away from running a train from LA to New York which is crazy I don't think I'm gonna do that because <laughs> it's a little bit too long but the possibilities are now endless so last episode then we started to grow uh, these cities. We didn't really take any fuel over to here. We've been taking the fuel to the Bahamas, uh, the Turks Islands and uh, Bermuda, which has really started to grow these little islands right now. We check the charts. They started to recently have a nice big growth spike as they kind of sort things out, which only then increases my residential uh, for the passenger lines. You can see that, oh my goodness, the Turks Islands had a huge growth spurt. And I believe Bermuda has, uh, not Bermuda, sorry, the Bahamas has too. Yes exponentially looking fabulous well today we're going to continue the expansions anyway now i've given this steel runs a little bit of a break recently but now i think since we've got the train line coming all the way down to new orleans stuff like that it's it's about time we look back at these two steel plants here and we do the final setup for it uh, and then we never have to touch it again so I've probably talked about it so many times right now, and for those that don't know what I'm talking about, or if you need a recap right now, I switched how and where I produce my machines and where we get them distributed. Because the machine plant here in Detroit, and we now have a brand new machine plant over here in Boston, uh, both need steel. Now steel's quite labor intensive to kind of create because you've got to bring coal and ore over. We completely had it all working on the Detroit one, distributing everywhere. Then we switched over to the Boston one and kind of split the work. But obviously it means we had to then get a second steel plant up and running. And we do have limited ore and coal plants uh, to utilize. So right now, we have steel being taken to the machines plant in Boston. And the Boston is the one here that distributes it to, at the moment, New York, Washington, and Boston. Now we have this one over here in Detroit. Uh, wrong button. There we go which is distributed to Savannah down here, which is a little bit kind of out of the way. We, we would eventually take that off uh, at some point, but Chicago and Detroit. Now, I want this one to eventually distribute to Toronto, to Montreal, uh, to Pittsburgh, even down to Nashville, and New Orleans. Now, that is quite a lot. That is quite a lot, but if they get minimal machines, they will slowly grow over time. That's the difference. Now, to be able to kind of distribute, and same with the Boston one, to get everything on the East Coast um, kind of uh, connected to it, it takes a lot of resources. Now, as of right now, the steel plant here is always wanting ore. Okay? The steel plant here is also always wanting ore. Now, the coal's not too bad because we can always bring coal from the many plants kind of around us right now, uh, which is uh, pretty decent. It ain't too... Uh, never too much to worry about that and we also have a couple of uh, coal mines over here as well that we can maybe bring some over if needs be but uh, ore is the big issue at the moment that I want to solve now as of right now the suppliers we have ore coming from the Masabi iron mine which is solely this one here and only this one by the looks of it uh, and then this one here has ore coming directly from uh, oh this one has coal coming from three places but has all coming directly from over here so these two ore mines here one of each one supplies one of these ideally you want two of them to supply the one now if i did that i need to find then two iron ore mines to supply the other and that's the kind of the issue so if we can find two um iron ore i'm gonna ideally i want these two here to supply the pittsburgh steel plant and then we find two more to supply the U.S. steel because I know that it's going to be a lot easier to supply Chicago with it than Pittsburgh with it. You kind of get with it. You see what I'm trying to say right now? And then hopefully it produces more steel, produces more machines, distribute more of the guts. 
I mean, in practice, it sounds amazing. Reality is going to be a lot difficult. So we need to figure out then where all of these are. Now, I've already kind of uh, set up uh, the logistics behind all of this. So you can see each of the iron mines, I have one, two, three, four, five, six total in the US. Two of them we're not using. We have the Eagle Mountain Iron Mine, which is just here. And then we have the Iron Mine Mountain 2, which is just here. Okay, so they're kind of close by. One's near LA. The other is over here by Denver. Oh, near this plant here. And then we have the two that we're utilizing just over here. So I feel like we need to do some reconfigurations. I really feel like we need to do some reconfigurations right now. Now, if I got these two that are unused to maybe supply this one, and then utilize these two here that are currently supplying this one to supply the one in Chicago. Reason I say that is because I can bring them straight out, straight down this line, and then in. Yes. Yes. Now, let me just double check. We're not actually consumers. We're not shipping any of this steel anywhere at the moment. I want to save this steel plant for the machines factory over here, uh, the NASA uh, one just there in LA. So that's what that's going to be utilized. So I'm not taking away the two ore mines because I'm putting two other ones back on. So it doesn't really matter if I deactivate this for the time being because it's not really taking any steel anywhere. So in reality, I want to switch these over to that. So to be able to do this then, we already have a train line coming in. We can utilize this bend coming down here. Utilize all of this as well. It's just when we get to this bit here, it doesn't really work out too well. Uh, so... We've got to reconfigure it to be able to allow us to kind of connect all the way to over there. Meaning, we're going to have to create, boys. We're going to have to create right now a couple of these little, uh, these little junctions. Now, we discovered doing the underground version is a lot smaller than doing the overground version. Uh, we also created one down here as well. You can see it looks so beautiful when you do it underground. So we've got to try and set this up here. Now, this is going to be a little bit difficult. Solely, if I pause the game real quick. Solely because we've got so much happening in this tight little junction right now. So we're really gonna have to kind of zhuzh things up slightly. So we have a train there. We also have a platform here, which I feel like we might have to kind of uh, switch around. So let's just delete all of this to begin with. Right, we'll, we'll delete it quite far back. Give us lots of space to create this Chrissy Crossy. And then I think we'll be okay. So do the same just here. There we go. So I've got to try and not only build the Chrissy Crossy, but also integrate a few lines close by, which is going to be the slight issue for me. Now, we also have this line coming up here, which then splits. Is it worth me coming also off this? As the bypass through? Does that connect to both of them? Oh, it does. What a genius. <laughs> so let me configure this station. And let's add... An extra two, because these are the bypass routes. If I keep it connected to this station, I can always utilize food coming from here to go elsewhere. It just makes more sense to be able to do that. Right, delete you. Delete you, delete you. Is there a train on this? No, there's not a train on this, so we'll come back and do this. Because I've got to move it all over by one, basically. Delete that, and then we're going to have to technically delete this little bit of road there. That still connects to it, right? Oh, no, I don't want to delete that. No, 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 no. Get off delete mode. Yeah, it's still connected to it. So we have to kind of like break it down to then go back into it. So I can't run straight. We've kind of always got to come off this at a slight angle. So we'll run to there and then bring that out. That is the two parallels running that way. And then all we do is we bring this in. Then, of course, we do the old crisscross. That's literally all we do. And then... We're pretty much straight there. That's perfect. So if I do the same to this, bring this back out, because we've all moved it over by one additional line. Also, that line on that station right there is not high speed. We might have to change that. There we go. So we're now pretty much good to go. So that there has to kind of come down to connect to this. But I'm trying. I'm thinking, is it worthwhile, rather than bending it to kind of go across than in, do you know what? That will be the better option. Who am I kidding? That will be the better option. But my other option is to connect that as a V, have that back as a V again, or have that four-way crisscross. 
But then as the line from Chicago comes out, which is inevitably going to go all the way over to Minneapolis, would that make more sense to bring it this way and in? Oh, this is annoying me. Of course it will. Of course it will. So that could kind of come out here. Connect to a V just over there. And then straight to my... No. Oh, this is changing the game. Well, I need to do this anyway. This is a must. This is a must right now. But I think I, I feel like I've just created a better system in my head. Right, so let's get the uh, track constructions all up. Let's get the tunnels all up and running. So we need a number of tracks. We need two. Length. Now, the length is 150. That is considerably quite long. I might just go for 100. And we've got to get this right as well. So we want to bend it this way. And if I place this one here. About there, right? We'll go we'll go here to give us as much space as I can possibly get. We'll go about there. There. That's where we'll go. Rotate this all the way around. And I think that's now connected, right? Yes. Absolute perfection. So we'll bring this out, yeah, to there. That's fine because we're, we're now going to create the straight bit to be able to create those bends again. Also, did I not create this tunnel as a high-speed electric? I don't think I did, did I? Oh, wait, that is hilarious, Saniac. That is absolutely hilarious. So the reason for that is now because we've now got to create the old crissy crossies in both directions. And we've created what we've created down here. So we've got these wine swoops. And we have... The, no, sorry. Let me look at one we've actually done. You have the close swoops. And then you have the big long swoops. That is the uh, the correct terminology, guys. Okay. <laughs> so the long swoops and the short swoops is the best way to pull it. So actually, let me, let me take a look at this again. Should the short swoops... Okay, they, they just merge in. That's all they do. They just simply merge in. So if I went here and then bend this right round to like there, for example, can that be my first short swoop? We'll accept it. Same again. Well, let me run that to there because I, I can't actually quite tell. Is it there where it kind of ends? So that's my first short swoop. We'll do another short swoop over here. And that is probably perfect. And then do the same again. And to be sure that's all in place. Looks good to me. Boom. Yes. Very good, sir. Very good. And then we got to do the long swoops. <laughs> now, they're the fun ones. They're the fun ones. But let's just get this kind of quickly connected. Oh, is there an issue? Oh, there is an issue. What's going on here? All right, let me bring this to the same level. There we go. So these then, you gotta do the long swoop on this. Which is a bit more difficult because in practice you're going a lot further away. So if I just bring it to here first, where's the marker for that? There it is. I can see the connection just there. Now, you don't have to worry about all of this here because we're going to set up signals to make sure that this all functions correctly. Uh, and then we want to do the same just here. Bring this out. So this is where you got to make sure that you get it all in the right spots. And that the connection is going to play out. So run this all the way along the air to begin with. 
That's just there. What do you mean it's not possible? Do you know who you're talking to right now? We got that in there. That's all good. Now he's got to do the long swoop this way as well. So we'll start here with this one. And we'll work our way that way. Work our way that way. And then the same for this. We'll go about here. And again, it's all about lining up as best as you can where you assume the bend is going to be taking place. So to there. And then... Oh, that does a slight little wiggle. Let's cancel that to there. That's better. So we pretty much created what we need to create here. Which should work out glorious. It's just now connecting the rest. And then we're back to normal in reality. We're then going to be back to normal. Uh, just got to make sure that the signals... We'll delete the signals and redo them. So we seem to have an issue... Right now... With something. The food to Pittsburgh... Is this... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I haven't got this here connected in. Which I was thinking. Are we going to be going through this area? And going down? Or is the train line going to... No, the train line's probably going to run this way. Because I feel like... How it's currently set up right now... It needs... The train line needs to be on the inside. Right? So if I configure this, and then kind of redo it. Alright, delete that. Get the this in. Oh wait, no, I can't do it like that. I've just realised. Oh, that's annoying. Because we're using that other platform for when it comes the opposite way. That's the annoying bit. So, I do need to have this back in. What's going on, Sonic? What's going on, boy? What's going on right now? I do need to have that back in. Oh, what, what an idiot. What a damn folio. Well, that's fine. Forget forget I did anything. I've now got to reconfigure it all back together. Um, but it is going to mess up this, though. So if I... Oh, this is so annoying. Right, I might have to make the crisscross happen... A little bit further back. Right, because of this connection here. So I just want to merge that into there. And then I make the crisscross happen just here. Right, there we go. <clears throat> Should be no dramas. Right, apart from the lines, obviously they now, now no longer connect correctly. So the food one, manage the line, it needs to be on the Kansas here on this one. Uh, very good, very good, very good. And then back to here, the wheat one, manage the line. When it comes to Kansas KS, again, it needs to be on the number two side. There we go. Sweet, mate. So, right, let's... Okay, no warnings now. I can go back into play mode, but I'm not going to because we have no signals. So, after... So, you know, which way do we drive on? So, in reality, you only really want the signal just there as you enter it. And then maybe as you're... Because if you're on this side, you're only coming this way, aren't you? Yeah. So, as you approach to this, it is what it is. You need one that side. You need one there. You need one there. You don't really need any kind of going this way because you're not going to wait for anything else you'll be waiting here 
So same thing here, bam, bam, bam. And then obviously you have the one you wait there for. So bam, bam, bam. And then you got the one you're waiting there for. Uh, bam, bam, bam. And then the one you're waiting here for. But you also need to have a couple of signals. Here and there to be able to kind of go through this whole junction. It's a very, very minimalistic approach to how I've created the other ones with the signals. Right, it's, it's a very mi minimalistic approach. That I feel like we'll kind of get away with. There we go. So back into play mode then. We should have a better system now for all of this. A much better system. But it doesn't solve anything. <laughs> well, it does. Because it's going to have me now to run lines through this. A whole lot easier but it doesn't solve my or issue I've got because now I've got to do, apply the same logic over here but I'm not gonna build this here I'm just gonna have this going straight over because there's no way it needs to do a left and a right not at the moment anyway so let's get it all connected up first and switched over then we'll build this line and they'll then choose if that is the shorter option so unfortunately right the two lines that run to this so this all one here is going to have to kind of technically say goodbye. Aren't they? They're going to have to say goodbye. Now, wait for that final train to go up on this bend. And then we'll delete this and then we'll kind of... I'll tunnel it. I'll tunnel it under. So I'm just waiting for this to now go through. This one's on the way back, so hopefully we can pause it just right. And boom. Pause. Sweet, mate. So delete this. And then we'll redirect them to where I need them to go. But yeah. Um, track constructions. Oh, I didn't upgrade. The other one's too electric, did I? Electrified tracks? No, they are electrified. Uh, oh, type, track type, high speed. Oh, it's high speed is what they're not. It's high speed is what they're... Ground track on the right? Oh my goodness me, I didn't realise you could do that. Anyway. And then flip it around. A little bit too far off, but you get the gist of it. Why is that so elevated? Well, let me delete this. That's very. I think it's the length, isn't it? Right, we'll go quite long then. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Why is that so high? Oh, I just, yeah, because the ground's coming away slightly. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. But right, anyway. What's, what's going on now? Okay, that is not going to work out. Honestly, that is not going to work out. I'd rather now just bridge them over. I'd rather just bridge them up and over. So how long is this bridge going to be? Okay, that works perfect. That works perfectly. So these train tracks here, 
uh, need to now connect to these ones here. So if I let the game naturally tell me where to go, it wants to create... No, I don't want to create a tunnel. It digs deep. And that's to keep the same kind of gradient. So they say stay the same speed. Which is ideally what I want. Alright, we're just smoothing it all out, but... We're now good to go. We can technically connect these lines up. I know they'll go the long route at the moment. So this line here, uh, hang on, what's the line? Sorry, the Denver line, manage the line. So instead of going to Denver Co, it actually goes to Chicago. Here, Chicago, and obviously we want it to go on to Well, yeah, we want it to go into number one. That's fine. That's fine. And then the ov obvious other one is the Denver 2 route, isn't it? Again, that's the same. Rather than going to Denver, it goes to Chicago. Now, we do have to rename these. But we also have to kind of get rid of the Chicago 1 and 2 as well. So we'll do that in just a moment then. So technically, right, we we we're done. Okay? Technically, we're now done. They'll do what they need to do. We need to change these trains to um, like better versions as well. And we also we, we might need multiple trains on the same line because of the distance we have to travel. But we'll sort that out when we see if they choose the shorter route. Now, also, if they wanted to come this way in, I can't let them go on this platform here because they can't approach it from this direction. That's something else we need to you know understand as well. So that means then we're going to be getting ore coming from over here into Chicago. Which means all the ore from up here can now go straight to Pittsburgh. So this, this line here going to Chicago. Well, it says it's going to Chicago. It's actually going to Pittsburgh. So if I rename this Pittsburgh 1. There we go. That does what I need to do. It's got four trains on that as well. Crazy. That's crazy. Um, oh, we got an issue. Already we have an issue. So the issue here is the train on this signal. Okay, in reality, we shouldn't have a signal here. We shouldn't have the signal there. Nor should we have a signal here in reality, because that... If a train's waiting there to go out... We'll delete that one as well. It's because it's just, it's too short. I'd rather delete all of them. For now. For now. So, hang on. So, yeah. So, the, or, the four trains, which we might have to re reduce that. Depends. Uh, this route right now, configure this. Oh, no, not configure the station, sorry. Configure the route. Manage the line. Now, this... Oh, hold on. I thought I was going to went to there then for a second. So, Chicago to then lower Chicago, which we're going to delete this. Add the station here. And that becomes Pittsburgh 2. So delete this real quick. Pittsburgh 2. Nice. So these are my Chicago routes. So let's quickly rename these ones. So now all of a sudden, both steel plants have two iron ores. Uh, how do you spell Chicago? Chicago... Chicago. That's that's how you spell it, right? Chicago. So they now both have two ores running to them. So then we'll kind of play around then with the coal. So the reason we had four trains on that one is because we needed it more frequently. But I don't think we need that many anymore. So this line 
I think we'll sell this train. Alright, sell it so when you got three. That means when they do come, they're a lot more full. Also, that additional line that comes in. So, Pittsburgh 1 is there. Pittsburgh 2 is also on the same platform. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. We'll see how busy that becomes. So, quite long-winded right now for them to get their ore. But it's all set up to be able to do it. We have the trains choo-chooing through. We will change them. This should all be now back to normal. So let's set up the ability for them to come into here. So what I'll do first then, right, is these two Chicago ones. We'll make them utilize the inner platform here. And same for this one, inner platform there. Sole reason being is, when I now give the ability to maybe approach from this side, we'll see if they pick that over the other way. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring this up to here and we're going to veer it here. As that then runs into Minneapolis. So a passenger line can go from Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Can't even say the word right now. Uh, down into Chicago. And then wherever it wants to then go from that point onwards. But also gives us a great connection. It can actually go from Kansas into Minneapolis. Into Chicago elsewhere. Who knows. But rather than run it straight to there. Might as well just utilize the current train line. That is technically here. Also let me upgrade these to high speed. There we go, because they were not high speed. Uh, high speed. Is it all electric? No. There we go. There we go. So, back to the train tracks. And let's first configure this station to allow us to have a bypassing route. It's quite a long platform, but hey ho. There we go. And then quickly pause as I then delete back to here. As that runs into there, that runs into there, that turns on to here. And then your boy has his crisscross take place just here. Very good. Very good, boys. So we're back in action. <laughs> we're back in action. So then, don't worry about this too much there, because I'll probably get rid of that at this point. Do you know what? We'll, we'll get rid of it. All right, get rid of all of that. Slight crisscross there. It's only going to hinder my ability to create the bend. So we'll bring it like straight down here and then V it just there. So the crisscross takes place there after these first set of signals here. We'll bend it up and round like this. There we go. And then we need to bend just in here. Is that about right? Ah, it's there. Glorious. Glorious. And then... I believe that should just be it here. Fingers crossed. So then the tracks kind of need to bend up like this way. Like that. So we're just going to kind of slowly come away from there. 
bridge it over the river, and then straight into here. Now, this is going to be tricky, because now I need to kind of technically delete a little bit of Chicago. <laughs> oh, this is that good, is it? But we've learned in the past, guys, they will grow back. They will grow back. Now, I could tunnel it completely out to save us a little bit of hassle and space. So, track constructions. We need four tracks. And then just like that, should I make it a bit shorter? Right, 280. And where are we going? We're going up in that direction. So, I'll spin it right round to there. And then we'll get our tracks underneath to connect to it. So, lots of room for the city to grow above. Lots and lots of room right now. So, then we're going to have, obviously, our two straight routes coming directly out. This one bends into it, so does this one. And then we have our little Chrissy Crossy, just like that. So then we've got to get these two connected together. So I reckon we pick, I reckon we pick about here for the bridge. What type of bridge should we go for? Or a big suspension bridge? I know. I mean, I know this is not in San Francisco, but damn. Steel bridge like that. I like the idea of the, of the like huge Golden Gate style bridge. I just really, really like the idea of it. So run this over as well, which will create a double. <sighs> Damn. I actually like it. Connect all this in. And then run this in as well. So there we go. We now technically are connected. And they do choose to utilize this route as well. Which is not a bad thing, but I feel like I need to do some configurations. Right. So I'm going to configure this station. Let's pause again. Right, delete those. Delete that and delete that. To get a passenger platform going down a bit more. To then, we'll delete this, delete this. To delete you, delete you. This is going to be difficult. I might have to push this back slightly. Right, I'll come back to that in just a minute. So, platforms. Why can't I do that there? So, cargo, cargo, like that. Can I just get all the stations? Boy, I'm not even finished right now. Please calm down. Yeah, we'll do it like this. It's a long station. But I want to have them not go through the center. Like, stop on the edges like they did on this one. That's why I'm trying to get out of this. Whether or not it's going to play out that well is a different story. So I bring that down to here. To there. We've got to delete all this underneath as well. I 
As long as we can connect to that, we're okay. As long as we can connect to that, we're going to be okay. So this is now a, a longer route, isn't it? So the four stick out, and then we merge. We all merge in. Kind of at the same time, which is really weird. Alright, if I brought that to there. Oh, that merges in like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, then we've done the two. Hold on, I'm merging too soon. I'm merging too soon here, guys. So bring that to there, bring that to there, bring that to there. Bring that in. Bring that in. Then we do this, but I gotta delete this road. Don't worry, the city will grow back. Alright, thank god this works. Thank god that this works. Damn. So we should be okay. So what I was going to originally attempt was then. The Chicago one here, we can make it stop on... I could go number seven in reality. Wait, hold on. What's that grey one? What's that grey one? Right, I'll come back to that in just a minute. This one here. Stop on number one. There's a grey one here. Is it this one? No. Where's that? I think that might have like kind of switched itself up. Aha, uh -huh, it has. So here, I want it to be number eight. This here can be number two. And then we do have a steel route coming in. Which that's fine, it can be on the same route as the, as the platform as the passenger one. That's completely fine. And then, do we have two passenger routes? We do, don't we? Yes. So back into play mode. So there's still technically a connection here for Boston. I'll bring it in just there. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? The building connections. I forgot I completely deleted them. Right, one there. One there. Um, cargo buildings. Quite important. Quite important. I need to connect to these, don't I? Yeah, that doesn't even touch or connect, does it? Right, did he... Oh, no, this is, this is the issue. I now no longer connect to the steel building. What have I done? I know what I've done, because I, I had a cargo platform there. So I could build another platform just here. For the, state, for the sake of... Cargo wise building there and then that should now yeah, we're now connected back up dear god that would have been dangerous That would have been very dangerous right there Right we're back to normal We're back to normal we can now breathe 
So they're going to utilize this then, which takes the trains off going through here, which alleviates a little bit more of the traffic tearing through. So the only issue then would be is trying to figure out, do we then have enough coal? That's now going down because hasn't had the ore in a while. So hopefully the, the ore is now being delivered, so it, it now still should keep producing. But we might have to take a step backwards to then take two steps forward. One of those scenarios right now as we switch things up. But we should be okay. Connectors over here, which is good. You can see the trains. Well, one of the trains making their way over. Which is heavily reduced and shortened the distance. It would just now be a good idea to upgrade the trains for it. So manage the vehicle then. You can see the trains that we currently got. If I replace these with... And I could go electric. Nothing's stopping me. But I can only go as fast as the cargo for, the, for it. Which is the... Oh, so we're getting a new type of gondola as well. Which is 99 miles an hour. So that does 99. Cargo. Those big boy gondolas. Which had 10 before. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which carry 200. So I can replace that with that. I could also then duplicate it. So we've got two on the same line. So which was that one? Do the same thing to this one. Manage the vehicle. Bam. Cargo. 200 capacity. Duplicate it. Two on the same line. So they'll be faster. They'll carry more. And they'll be more frequent as well. So here comes one of the brand new electric trains carrying all that ore. Going to come directly in. For a little tunnel system. And then park up to one of the platforms on the side. Who are you? Oh, oh you're on the brand new trains I just purchased. So dropping off a load of goes out. Made 20 million. That's pretty good. P give us a load of ore. And then we're rocking and rolling, guys. So I don't have any signals on this whole strip right now, which is not good. So let's sort this out. We're going to need to do quite a few of these. To allow the trains to tear on through. There we go. And then just before the crisscross. There we go. So we can now work our magic and get loads of coal now being delivered. Not coal, sorry, ore. Ore, ore being delivered, you're full. <laughs> and then the steel will get produced again, which you can now see is being picked back up. It's all pointing in the right direction now. So that will kind of keep providing over there. This should now have a couple of uh, circulations. So we should have consistent amount of uh, ore coming in, which we do. Lots of ore, which produces a lots of steel. Which we're waiting for the steel Boston route. Where are these vehicles? Oh, we have a train jam. No wonder they're not being picked up right now. I think we had the same train jam last episode as well. So the issue is, it's, it's this here. This stops them. This signal there. Coming directly out. Because they should wait at the platform, not have a signal just there. That's where you kind of lose that. So this will now completely clear all of this. And then they still should get picked back up again. That was a big oof from me there, wasn't it, guys? Big oof from me there. Right, so that should now do its magic. No wonder the transport's gone down. It's leveled down. No wonder. Holy smokes. So machine plant over here then. That now needs more steel. Which, obviously, we're now only just starting to get the uh, the ore coming in. So we should get it more regularly right now. There's a train tearing through right now. And then we should have a few more trains on the way shortly. There we go. Two, well, one's just come picking up one. Now it's going back up to pick another load. 
So that might change the... Oh, no, you actually got quite a lot on the platform. I think because of the distance, we might need to, like, add an additional one in. Potentially, anyway. So drop a load of uh, ore off as well. Sweet, mate. So eventually, then, as we keep circulating through all of this, we should start to see uh, more supply to these two machine factories. So they'll start producing more and more and more. So with that logic then, we could potentially then start, you know, creating more routes coming from this machine plant to other cities. But at the same time, if I did this and bulk this up, I feel like we might be over completely overloading this whole little junction here. So we need to kind of also be slightly careful because of how close these are quite by right now. I think some of these signals need to be technically deleted. We don't need this signal. Nor do we need this signal there. Nor do we need that signal just there. We don't need this signal. We don't need that signal as well. It's trying to make them flow through a little bit more easier. Because we'll have that same issue we just had uh, near Boston. You can, you can apply the same logic elsewhere as well. But he doesn't really need to do. Now, if I add more lines here, I would probably want more platforms. Ultimately, that is probably what I would want. But we'll save that anyway. But... We're, we're pretty much now ready to start delivering machines to Nashville, to New Orleans, and so on and so on. And hopefully then produce more steel over here, more machines over here, because we're delivering more steel. Uh, to then distribute it to more cities as well. Get more machines going up to Toronto, to Montreal. We now have these possibilities. They are pretty much endless. We're going to have a, a load more ore now delivered. And then give it some time, and we'll see how it balances out to understand and know if we need to put more coal into these plants. We'll then truly know moving forward. And there's more ore coming in. So because they didn't have any demand, the, the shipment's now gone down. So you're going to have to build everything all back up again. You can see the shipment's really down right now, but we've got to build it all back up, and then we'll truly see exactly what we need. But I think we've uh, done some really good things here and there. We need to replace a lot of our vehicles as well. That's going to be a thing as well. And I won't get the ore back onto this one until we need to use the steel for it. So we'll kind of wait out for that. We'll kind of wait out for that right now, but I feel like we've done pretty good. Now, that jam's subsided, right? I mean, I, I do need to get rid of a few more signals just there. So they're now waiting. There's a signal here as well we don't technically need. There we go. So everything should be more flowy <laughs> is the best way to fill it. And then this should now... Yeah, this is now going to level up again. We're starting to get a vast amount of ore coming in. Perfect, guys. We're going to have so much steel being delivered. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Uh, Chicago's took a slight little knock, but it will bounce back. It will bounce back. And then the only thing we're then missing for all these cities is the food run. Now, while we do have a big food plant over here being produced, we also have one near Chicago as well. So maybe we could kind of bulk up with the same system we create for delivering the machines also can deliver the food. And to be honest with you, I could have it all localized in this one area here. I could really utilize my distribution network platform. So I could just have all the machines being delivered to here, and then we take the machines from there and the food to all the individual cities, rather than bulking up this one platform. That's what we'll do next episode, 100%. That is what we will do. Because at this moment in time, we got the Pittsburgh route, which is delivering uh, food and machines. Um, oh no, sorry, that's just delivering food here. I do apologize. 
That delivers the food. It's only one route here which takes the machines and the food to an actual city. So let's use this as I intended it to next episode, guys. But for now, we'll end it here. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time, I see you all soon. So goodbye. <laughs>